three albums that I ranked higher than it, but for me, lyrically, sonically, it just, it just doesn't compare. Okay, so the next album that we have is Milo Zolotto, so I definitely gotta go back to this album to remember some of the songs. Sometimes I just forget the songs that are on this album, and then I'm like, oh, they're not that bad. Okay, so this album had the hit single Paradise on it. That was the song that they mainly promoted from this album, as well as, you know, um, Princess, oh, what, Princess of China, Princess from China, yeah, of China, thank you. Thank you to see that there. Okay, so this album. I feel like, again, it almost was an album that I used to like more. I definitely used to listen to some of the B-sides on this a lot. I still like them, but songs like Up in Flames, I used to listen to a lot, but now it just sounds kind of whiny to me now, and the instrumentation is very basic on it, so... It's sonically not even comparable to their last four albums in terms of the ins instrumentation. I just can't. It's not comparable. There are some songs that are great. I like the different tech and electronic elements that they did implement into some of the songs, but in general, just not one of my favorites. It's still solid for me. I feel like I probably like it more than your average fan. But I definitely can't praise it like I have the last four, three albums that I praise so highly. So I think one highlight that I can say, two songs that definitely I do absolutely love and enjoy are Major Minus and Don't Let It Break Your Heart. Don't Let It Break Your Heart again implements the, the crash element that... Coldplay is famous for in my mind of how they use the crash so well in their songs. It's just, it sticks in my head and I just love it. And just how they can move, melodically move the guitar and bass elements around the crash. It just, it it's very beautifully done even in this album. So, yeah, for Don't Let It Break Her. Major Minus. I love me a good, um, you know, palm muted, fast paced chord progression. It's a pretty simplistic chord progression when you hear it, especially at the beginning. But again, the lyrics, the lyrics create a feeling within you that it's like, you know, you feel like someone really is watching you. Like the Coldplay has such a great job of like immersing you in the life of their songs. I don't even know how to explain it. It's like I feel like when I listen to the lyrics, I'm in whatever place they are trying to put you in in their music. I get, I'm getting there. Like, I get it. So, that's all I have to say about that song. Charlie Brown as a song, I do like it, but there's an aspect of it for me that's like almost annoying and I feel badly saying that but it's just it's how I feel regarding the song so yeah I think Hurts Like Heaven again solid song I list I used to listen to it a lot I definitely used to love it more than I do now probably because I over listen to it so anyways I think it's time to do the ranking let me see here I'm trying to remember yeah, I almost forgot about Every Teardrop is a Waterfall. I l almost forgot that was a part of this album. I'm very sorry to anybody who really loves that song, because it is an amazing song. It really is. Again, lyricism, great. Guitar, great. It's solid. I can't give it any, like, mighty praise, but it's good. It's a solid song. So, I think, you know what? Originally, I was thinking B, but... I'm gonna have to give this like A minus. It's gonna get A minus. Vivo Vita is a solid A. Milo Exoto is A minus B plus. It's like I can't give it B because it's better than B, but 
you know, I feel like a lot of people would feel I'm overrating it, which is fine, I, I get that, but, yeah, I, ha I have to, I have to give it the praise it deserves, in my mind. Okay, already the next album, I believe, that we have is, yeah, is Ghost Stories. Man, I didn't realize A Head Full of Dreams came out in 2015. I didn't know. I'm sorry. I didn't even remember that. Um, alrighty, so Ghost Stories. This album, in my opinion, is actually great. I don't know. I think it's because of the fact that Chris Martin said it was about his divorce and how... I don't... There's just a storyline. Like, I feel like this album, from beginning to end, actually tells a story. Like, it feels cohesive. It feels like a cohesive album. And I know that that's not always important in terms of your opinion on the music. And I get that sonically, it's not exactly the most rich album that they've had. It's definitely not. Songs like Always In My Head, True Love, and even Ink, Another's Arms, they're very simplistic in terms of their instrumentation, but I really do feel that Chris Martin's lyricism and his vocals really saved the songs. Like, I feel he purposefully made the songs have less instrumentation because he had more to say. He had more to... He wanted the vocals to be the focal point. <laughs> Sorry. He wanted the vocals to be the focal point of the album. And, like, I got it. I don't know. I was actually quite young when I first listened to this album. But for some reason, I just understood it on a very deep level that I feel like most people don't get. I mean, in my mind, A Sky Full of Stars is a very beautiful song. The piano line, it reminds me of Clocks for some reason, which is very weird, but I absolutely love it. I love playing it, and I love hearing it. I do get sick of the song at times. Sometimes the chorus, again, is a little whiny, but I still, I still love it. It's still a great song. And then even some of the slower songs at the end, like Oceans and Oh, as much as I'm not a huge fan of drawn out slow songs i do believe that they're still good they're still quality songs so and then a lot of people actually praise midnight a lot which i do understand i actually really like the song remixed it has a very unique sound the vocals obviously are very they are pretty much auto-tuned yeah they, they are it gives you a very somber feeling. I don't really know how to explain it, but it's like, it's kind of dark. It kind of feels like when you wake up on like a really dark, cloudy day. That's kind of what the song reminds me of. I don't know, like just the ambiance of it. Obviously, it's the, the title Midnight is definitely, telling you what time of the day the song's about, but for some reason it reminds me of maybe like a dark night and you can't fall asleep. Like, I don't know. But it's a very interesting song. Definitely one of their more unique songs, and I do like it. So, you know what? There's no song on this album that I actually could say that I disdain. So, for that reason, I know this is gonna hurt a lot of people, but I have to give this album A+. Plus. I just do. There's just no B-sides. It's not as good as Parachutes. It's very close, in my mind. But I just, I can't say that it's worse than Viva La Vida because of the B-sides in my mind. I'll have to probably give the Viva La Vida B-sides another listen to understand why people praise them so much, but... Yeah, I, I have to give it A+. Plus. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to the people who love Viva La Vida that I'm ranking it so low. <laughs> Anyways, let's go to the next album where 
the quality of the album definitely drop from here. Yeah. It's like, there are a few songs again on this album that I really like, but the idea of like, the richness and the storytelling and the b-sides and the album being a complete collection, like, the album feeling complete in its storytelling, it's not there for me in this album. Maybe it is there, but it's not there for me. Like, I didn't, I didn't grasp that when I listened to this album. I've never actually looked up what the actual meaning of this album really is, like what Chris Martin's actually trying to tell, because I just really did not like some of the b-sides from this album, like, the fun with Tovo, I don't, I really don't like that song, I can't even explain, Kaleidoscope, not a fan, Up and Up, not a fan, Birds, Again, I really should give some of these b-sides a second chance, but I just feel for right now I'm doing this based off of my personal feelings in the moment of these albums. In the past I would have ranked them a little differently, but for now we're just gonna rank them the way that it is, so. Again, I feel A Head Full of Dreams is a song that people actually really don't like, but I really enjoy the lyricism, I really enjoy the chorus. Yes, the verses are maybe a little dull in a sense, but I still really like the song. Him for the Weekend is a song that gets a lot of praise and deserves it. That song, the ending with him and Beyonce's vocals together singing Let Me Shoot Across the Sky that song makes me feel like I'm shooting across the sky, like, I don't even, I don't care, that's how I'm gonna explain it, because it's true, so, um, yeah, end of the song is absolutely amazing, lyricism, amazing, amazing for that song, I don't care, it's amazing, so, just for that song, the praise for that song is great, um, Adventure of a Lifetime, love the guitar intro, absolutely love the guitar intro on that song. The rest of the song, lyrically, it is a little boring, I'm not gonna lie. It is, but, you know. We're not gonna complain about the lyricism, because I love, honestly, most songs I love because of the guitar. Intros, riffs, solos, yeah, I'm a very big guitar fan, so. Okay, and then last but not least, I'm going to talk about Army of One. I love the um, the rhythm change, beat change, melody change at the end of the song. I actually really enjoy that part of it. I do like the lyricism. It's maybe a bit shallow, but I still love it. Um, yeah. So that's about all the praise I can give. As you heard, it's a very 50-50 album for me. So in that case, I think the highest I can give it is B because of those few songs that I really do enjoy. But I definitely can't put it... I can maybe put it here if I'm being... If I'm thinking about, like, one or two of the songs. But realistically, it's not better than My Lizzie Don't let it break your heart from Milo Zolotto pretty much beats almost all the songs on that album for me alone, so I definitely have to give it a tier. Okay, so now, again, we have another album that I feel is very divisive in the Coldplay fandom, and just, you know, listeners of Coldplay in general, even people that wouldn't consider themselves mm. fans. Um... This album, I feel really bad saying this, but this album actually really disappointed me. <laughs> like, the fact that they were experimenting sonically with different cultures and their sound, and, and I think the storytelling on this is, is great. I think it definitely encompasses a lot of different factors about life, obviously, which is why it's called everyday life. Like, if I were 
to rank this album in terms of storytelling and cohesiveness, I probably would rank it a lot higher than I'm going to. But for me personally, the instrumentation just isn't it for some of the songs. There is one song in particular that I absolutely love from this album, and it's Church. I love the part where Chris Martin sings when you're riding a wave. I don't know, it just hits me a certain way. Again, it creates a very vivid, beautiful image in my mind, and I just love it. So, if we were ranking this album just based upon Church compared to some of the other single, some of the other B-sides, I would rank it pretty high, but... Orphans, too. Orphans is a solid song. I do find myself skipping a lot. It's not bad. I do like it, but it's definitely not one of their best singles. I can't comp even compare it to the singles in the S tier and A tier albums. I just can't. So, for that reason, the only other song that I can really give praise to about liking is Everyday Life. I do like the piano on it. It's somber. It's it's introspective. It makes you obviously think about what composes your everyday life, obviously, which is what the song's about. So, yeah, that song's decent. I can't say I absolutely love. There's anything about it that I absolutely love, but yeah. Again, I feel like I really should give this album another listen, but I do vividly remember giving this album a chance. And I just really didn't like it. I don't know. I feel badly saying this, but I can't... I can't rank it any higher than the other albums, and... The highest I could give this is like a B-, minus. but it's honestly gonna have to go in the C tier. I'm, I'm sorry to anybody who really loves this album. Maybe if you can explain to me in the comments why... I should love this album, or maybe one of the songs that lyrically is powerful, lyrically tells an amazing story that I maybe kind of skimmed over because obviously, as I've said, I love Coldplay for their guitar riffs, piano riffs, more for the rich instrumentation, and I do love the storytelling too, but I just feel in this sense, it felt like too much of a dip for me. I feel like they could have incorporated the using other cultures sonically and the way that they would tell storytelling before with more of their like sci-fi space theme kind of you know scientific way of telling like the story of music. I feel like they could have meshed both for this album together and had both elements and it would have been better. But I feel like they just went a little too much into the incorporating other cultures' music, and I just didn't find that it was maybe done to the best extent that it could have been. So yeah, for that reason, I'm gonna rank it zero. C. C zero. <laughs> okay. Um. Last. I don't know if I could say, but not least, honestly, I don't really think, I don't know. <sighs> this album is tough. This album is tough because it was at a time where I was very desperate for new music. I mean, I've been desperate for new, good quality music for a long time, so if any of you know of any bands that are kind of similar to Coldplay and are coming out with new music and it's quality and it's good, please recommend them in the comments because I'm just having to go back to old artists that I maybe didn't listen to their whole discography and listen to more of their music. So anyways, um, yeah, to say that this album wasn't a letdown, especially after their 2019 release would be a lie. It's interesting because I would say my favorite song from this is actually one that doesn't have that much lyricism in it. I do love the album artwork, I'm not gonna lie, it's definitely probably one- if I were to rank these based off of album artwork, it would actually be very different, but maybe- you know what, I can do that for another video. But for this, we're just talking about the album as a whole. 
so um yeah so my favorite song from this album would definitely be the infinity one i don't know it just gets me i love the way that they sing the very little lyrics that are in the song i just absolutely love that song so yeah I, I feel like i can't really explain why i love it i just do there's nothing super unique about it i mean it has a good piano intro the electric piano intro is good but i can't say that it's anything new or anything amazingly done and put together i just like it so yeah that song alone plus I actually really liked my universe, but I'm both a Coldplay and BTS. I'm a pretty big BTS fan, and I will be doing a ranking of BTS eventually, so if you like BTS, then please come back to my channel, because I will be doing that, but originally, I kind of like People of the Pride and Humankind, but they're not my favorites. I don't really like the features on this album, and it's sad because I actually do like Selena Gomez a fair amount. I should do a ranking of her too, but I'd have to give her discography another chance because I don't really know it that well other than her hit singles and maybe a few B-sides. Um, but, yeah, overall, oh yeah, I almost forgot about Higher Power. I actually did genuinely enjoy that song i do prefer it remix though i am definitely more of a faster song fan unless the slow song has lyricism that allows me to immerse myself in the story as i was saying before but okay i think at this point we're just gonna rank this album honestly i feel like I'd rank it a little higher, like, you know what, that, that's what it's gonna be. I can't give that album B, because that's just a little too strong of a ranking for that album, especially for the wait, the wait after Head Full of Dreams, to wait like six years for another album that's more Coldplay styled, to get that was kinda tough, so. Anyways, this is my final album ranking. I couldn't give anything D tier to me. I don't think Coldplay could ever do anything D tier in terms of an album. Now, there are some songs. I will rank their whole discography soon, but there are some songs that I could probably definitely rank D, but we'll, I'll talk about that in the other video, but... Yeah, this is my final thing. It's interesting how there's almost two albums in each. I would laugh. I know they're supposed to come out with an album, I think, in 2025. So I would laugh if that album, in my opinion, would fit right here in B. Which, I don't know why. I feel like it might. I feel like that album is the missing piece from this tier list. But anyways, it would be awesome. Honestly, if the next album could be A or A+, I would probably like cry, like not even kidding, like if the album could be this level of Coldplay music, if it was S tier I would be literally so shocked, I would be so grateful, I'd be thanking God because I'd be like wow, but if it could even just be A tier, like if it could just be the quality of these two, I would be so pleased and so impressed and I would be thanking God and I'd be thanking Chris Martin for putting that effort into it, but I don't know. It probably is going to fit in the B tier, I just have that feeling. But anyways, let me know what you think about my album ranking. Let me know probably why you feel Viva La Vida deserves better than it got um, and why Ghost Stories deserves worse because I know that this is probably one of the most controversial opinions you'll ever see, putting ghost stories higher than Viva La Vida, but they're very close again. They're very close in my mind. I just like the way ghost stories were just told, but 
Alrighty, thank you so much to anyone who actually watches this. Thank you for reaching the end. I really enjoyed making this and I will definitely be making more tier ranking videos for Coldplay. I already have one. I have two from Rune 5 already if you're a fan of Rune 5. So if you want to watch those, go and check them out. Alrighty, bye and thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope you come back soon.